Have you ever picked up a how to draw book, flicked through it and literally felt the joy drain from your body? Yeah, me too. I've got something to share with you. It's not you. It's the books. It's the wrong books. And I'm going to tell you why. Hi, my name is Johanna Basford. I am an illustrator, incubangelist and maker of colouring books and the first how to draw a book <laughs> that won't make you feel sad. Before I tell you why my book is rather good, I'm going to tell you why those other books are just plain old stinky pants rubbish. Bear with me folks, but you need to hear this bit first to understand why my book is different. Let's go. So tell me how many of these three drawing books you recognise. Number one, old school. So here's the thing, when you get one of those kind of old fashioned books, the old school books, they're going to speak to you a lot about things like two point perspective, the benefits of using willow charcoal, why you should use a very textured cartridge paper and not a smooth sheet of office paper out the printer. Who cares? It's so boring. Those books are so boring and stuffy and if they were going to inspire you to draw, they would have done so a long time ago. From where I stand, those books are so formal. They take the joy and the immediacy out of drawing. Find a drawing book that inspires you, that sparks joy, that makes you want to go grab a pen or pencil right then and there and draw. Number two, The Cheat. Now, these books really annoy me. They are made by, well, designers using a computer. And what they do is they take a really quite pretty finished picture then they erase step by step digitally on the computer and then replay it almost when they lay it out to show you step by step how to draw a picture. Obviously the fatal flaw here is that a real person hasn't drawn that and often the steps just don't even make sense. Evie has a book like that. Actually, where is it? I'm going to go and find it because this you need to see. So this is one of Evie's books and I don't really want to show the cover because... I mean, I'm really conscious that somebody tried hard to make a really lovely book, but here's a good one. Look at this. Oh, focus, focus. Can you maybe see that? Here we go. This is not a step-by-step -step guide to drawing a horse pulling a carriage, is it? I mean, it's just, it's not. Somebody has just digitally erased that. Oh, wheeling about and created a really rubbish step by step. And this is dangerous because when you can't draw a horse pulling a carriage in six simple steps like this, you feel rubbish, you're like that, why can't I do it? Nobody could do this. A computer did this. It's not a fair thing to sell, especially not to children, but never mind. I guess like they're so confident it wouldn't even bother them. But to the rest of us mere mortals who have to do adulting every day, it's really off-putting to see a step-by-step -step that just isn't achievable. So they're rubbish. It's a cheat. Don't pay attention to them. Number three, the useless panda. When I was deciding to do a how to draw book, I looked at what was already on the market and discovered a whole section of books which I codenamed the useless panda section. So you have found a how to draw book. It's got a, a realistic step-by-step -step guide to drawing some stuff. You're going to give it a go. And the thing that you're learning to draw is a, pa a panda, a panda, a panda, sitting eating a stick of bamboo. Now, I mean, it's a perfectly sweet little panda, but are there any panda variations? Can you adapt it to do, you know, a panda taking a bath, panda reading the newspaper, panda walking his pet dog? No, you have only learned to draw a panda sitting eating a stick of bamboo. Now, to me, that's just not useful. It's not practical. There aren't that many applications in life where you can be like, oh, I'm just creating, I'm just drawing. What would make this really better, folks, is um, panda eating a stick of bamboo. I'll just, just want me to draw this in. No, that never happens. What's the point in learning something that has such a narrow application use? What you need to do is to learn to draw things that you can use every day in your real life, not in your panda bamboo, you know, restaurant weirdness. Like, no, like I can't even think of a, a time when that would be useful unless you worked in a zoo or maybe you owned like a restaurant or a takeaway that was like the happy panda. So my point is 
learn to draw things that are going to be useful. That's why I really love teaching people to draw flowers, leaves, garlands, butterflies, rabbits. Like you can add a sprinkling of butterflies, a little a uh, leaf and floral bouquet uh, to to anything. You know, to a little love letter, to a note to your kids, to the corner of a birthday card on your CV to make it look more feminine and pretty if that's applicable. I mean obviously not if you're going to be like an investment banker. I'm guessing like an inky illustration isn't going to sway that but you know. So now I'm going to tell you why my book How to Draw Inky Wonderlands is different. So everything in my book, all the tutorials, have to fit three basic criteria. That is they have to be easy because I mean who needs more hard stuff in their life? It has to be achievable because I want you to be able to draw the thing that I'm showing you so you get that feel good buzz and you're confident and you want to keep going. And it has to be useful because, you know, panda and bamboo, when, 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 when. However, little happy bumblebee, I think quite a, quite a few times that you could use that handy little thing to know how to draw. Little daisy chain, again, juicy bonus, always useful. So that's why my book's different, because I actually drew it by hand, because I wanted it to be achievable, fun, imaginative, I wanted it to spark joy for you, and because you can use all the things that you're learning to make your life more creative and better and happier. All right, beginning to ramble, it's time to go. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, it's not you, it's those other books. You've just been buying or being given the wrong how to draw books. Save yourself that heartache, get the right how to draw a book, i.e. my one, and see how you got on with that. I can't wait to see all your inky pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Remember folks, keep your pencils sharp, your erasers clean, and let's fill this world with happy artists.